All right, time for some more Operation Guns, Vampire Survivors. We're getting close to the end here. Colonel Bahamut's going to be taking on the old Neo Galaga. It should be much easier. Then what Newt Pliskin had to go through. So let's go on, see what Inverse has to store. Thanks for messing around. Wait, right, does he get that slash benefit? No, it gets the benefit of at least one other Archon, I believe. I really should just test this out ahead of time. But then he wouldn't get to watch me flail around like a jerk. Okay. Oh, I'm just beginning in Silent World Sanctuary then. Oh, that's simplistic. Does it even get the... Does the mount even affect anything with it? Oh, we'll see. I mean, it should. 150 damage off the start. That's ridiculous. Ooh, Tronus Box and Duplicator. Yeah, I think he's going to have nothing resembling trouble. Just a bit of empty tome, and things should be super good. Da -da -da. Crown up first. Everything is good. Well, let's see. Area is probably more helpful right now. And he just doesn't stop. Oh, good. Spinage. He's going to tear through the second wave immediately. Excellent. For all the trouble I've been having, having a character that will just chew through everything with no trouble is going to be very nice. Yeah, look at him. Annihilate them. They've got no chance here. Duplicator! And he's so fast, too. That's what the hero of the hardcore war is for. You know it, you love it. 200 damage already. Crazy. Let's make that even bigger. Boogaloo would have been great, too. In fact, I probably should grab it. One, two, three, four, five passes. And Hollow Heart will be my last, probably. And I actually get very efficient because I grabbed all the weapon power-ups instead of waiting for them later. Oh wow, they're taking a hit. That is ridiculous that they can take 200 damage. Crazy, absolutely crazy. I wonder there's so much trouble with this stage with everyone else. Max out that claw. And... Actually, I should go get Boogaloo Evolutions right now. I have no reason not to. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, even the wasps are going down nice and easy. Well, let's get upfront damage first. As much as we can. I should not be leveling it. I should be getting Boogaloo. I mean, it's only 17 points I've lost, but still. Yep, of course. Oh, dang it. It's pretty far off still. Oh, I didn't grab it yet. He's fast enough to skirt around. Oh, Boogaloo. So close. Yeah, nice. Now, I should check Slash just in case. There we go. Now, show your claw as big as the screen, Colonel. You are a hero once, you can be again. And because of that... Because I think he can actually take it... Oh. We're going full on. We're going dumb. Will it work out, or will I fail? Well, if you're listening to this, clearly it worked out. Granted, I'm still going to hold off on grabbing them for later, but right now. Man, they're still taking two hits. 
Okay. Uh oh, it's wrapped. But not for long. Hmm, the chest is still risky. Labrador. I'm a Dio. Empty Tome. Jisoo, too, of course. Wow, he's getting a lot of luck, too. Da, da, da. All right, make it bigger. Let's let not them get in at all. And that. 360 might. Really should have checked what his thing was, even though I'm pretty sure it's like he gets faster and stronger the lower health he gets. His model is huge, too. That's how you know he's a villain, because his model is gigantic. Good characters don't have giant models. I have three chicken forts, jeez. Yeah, look at this. Four ten minutes and I've already done so much. Ooh, and right into that. Yeah, 19 health is a lot of health. Dang it, keep running into the dang Atlanteans. Hard to see. Hard to see. Okay, getting over to that armadillo soon. Uh oh. Armor. Hey, Jisoo. I can hold off on the tier Jisoo. I should definitely hold off on the tier Jisoo. Right wings. Wings is on the map as well. Okay, let's just sort of try and avoid things. Now get these chickens up here. Hopefully don't run into any of the lanterns. Tome. Oh, it's a dead end. Gotta get that healing in. And just one more... Oh, candy box. Dang. If I'd have waited, I gotta grab that first. Tag to the left is the most beneficial here. There you are, boss. Alright, shouldn't it be too hard to get him down? Just in case? Nope, no armadillo here. No, I don't want to die in the mines. I never want to die in the mines. Crap. Oh well. Strange that the boss for the evolution chest actually comes in for 10 minutes. Not that happens a lot. Yeah, damn, just capped. So, he just gets attack speed when it's lower. Or something else. Alright, what do we got here? Wings? Wings. Well, maybe I've just gone sheer errands and it actually isn't a good idea. Well, obviously it isn't, but still. Oh, chicken down there. Oh, dang it, Lantian. Not good. I don't want to waste all my revives ahead of time. Uh oh. Now we get to the problem. Silver ring. Make it even faster. Oh, I'm hitting 300. I got a. Oh, the power-up gives the might bonus, duh. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, oh right, get the other armadillo, duh. Oh, I thought that was a light source, or a rosary. Man, they're fast. I think Colonel's faster. Well, until I run back right into them like a dingus. Impromptu! Throw the weapon! Might not actually be able to evolve it at this rate. That one's down. Good, they're all down. Karma, the Karma chest is here, so I can get awake. All right, that's going to be very helpful. It's always helpful to have a wake. Or most of the time. Well, basically every time on Neo Galaga. 
And what else are you supposed to do against this kind of thing? Eh. Yeesh, even with 300 damage hits, they're still doing so much. Oh, grenade. And then the grenade can't save me. Alright, there we go. There's the bridge eventually. Is the bridge defensive? Yeah, bridge is defensive enough. Oh, here we go. Big fuzzy fist. Almost the most powerful enemies in sight. Oh, this is actually worse. Well, no, it's attacking fast enough and does enough area, but... Okay, yeah, I was worried it would be doing less damage. Okay, yeah, that's dominating. Oh, there was another chest back there. I need to get armor to you. I don't think the colonel's going to have any trouble. Granted, with all this curse, the number of enemies I'm going to hit is not exactly high. Oh, I'm at the start already. He's so fast. Crazy fast. Huh. And I attack him faster now, with more might. Armadillo. Tierra Jisu. 470 might. Alright, time to sit in a chicken fort for seven minutes. Oh, just a lot of things to level up, though, still. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, Colonel, very, very strong. Shouldn't have any trouble getting through to the end with this level of both sheer damage numbers and knockback. After poor Newt's terrible performance, and what's inevitably going to be Simundo's terrible, bad, no good day. This is a welcome of reprieve. Even the long leg boss thing can't get in. That's so nice. Man, the train here is whack. Let's get that power up. Oh, it's in a world again. And since you don't have knockback, wait, and you don't get knockback here. Toast you with all them fuzzy piss. Well, not that it matters in the end. Yeah, they just stand no chance here till much later. Well, I have enough might to curse out them? Or 70. Huh, where did that come from? Not even close to max you know, my stuff. Why did I get a candy box too? Did I even get a regular candy box from that? Jeez, he's been incredibly lucky too. Yep, they're not getting close. Strangely, the overall damage hasn't gone up that much. It's only like 50% more in total. Oh wow, they're getting close. Yeah, deadly, but, well... Between all this armor... And they drop right gems, so that means the area gets even bigger. That was weird, why wasn't it letting me move? Nope, another bunch of clovers showing up. Big boss here, no trouble there. It's going to get big fuzzy fisted to death. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, look at that. That's only 8 armor, too. A lot of health, but still. Hmm. 
looks like clearly there's something else going on here. Because, oh, well, it should be a lot more than that. It's not like I have helper generation all that much on the back end. Maybe the big fuzzy fist does something. Man, this isn't even that much area overall. Yeah, only 164. It's hitting the full screen like that. Or most of the full screen. It does solid damage. Ooh, vacuum. Oh man. They come in so fast that the, the fists actually have a pretty hard time tracking it. That's hilarious. Okay. No, oh, still don't have Metagly Luck maxed out. I'm not actually getting that many levels overall. It's only gonna get worse. Well, no, actually, it'll probably get better when I get more first, because then they'll be on screen more, instead of being knocked back all the time. They aren't really doing damage, it's... Well, the Metaglio boosting my health. Causing me a thing. Or 70 might. I don't know why it went up to 470, but hey. That's nice. Man, they're not even getting in. This is incredibly strong. This isn't even a very high level either. I'm not even going to be able to max anything out just because I'm not getting that many kills. But they're getting crushed by the knockback so hard. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. I'd definitely say Colonel Bahamut's the raw strongest one in the DLC. This is too strong comparison. As for the weapon, definitely one of the best ones. Maybe even the best. What's its comparison for raw? Sea laser spread gun. Yeah, those are the only ones I'd say would even be con competition, and it's still better. Huge upfront damage. And Infinite Pierce, which really, really, a lot of the weapons here are lacking in. <laughs> Not even Taka can beat the Colonel. Well, maybe the weapon is being helped more by the Colonel. I mean, the Colonel obviously makes it better, but still. It's going to be a strong contender. Don't know about if this it's the strongest evolved weapon though. It's making a good showing for itself. BFC can't do this even though it does more damage, but this stage is just overtuned, and on any other stage, BFC would have been amazing. And let's see, Wave Cannon does well but more damage than this, but less of it. Granted, if I get might. And this might is still going off. Is that level based or area based or something else? Boom. Go grenade. I just get stronger if I go down too. It's not like either of those revives were really out of bounds. Okay. Don't worry. I need to make sure I can just get next to big claws just in case things go really bad. Let's see if he can make it to the end. Nope. I don't think anyone really could. Numbers are just too high at this point, even for this level. Of Why didn't it let me pause there? Hey, a chest. This isn't even without Wicked Season or any more curse from the power up on the map. Wait. Well, it's better now. Maybe just enough might came in. Right. I don't know what was going on with that wave, but they were getting in, but this one, which should be harder, isn't, huh? Right, I'm going to hold out for 2930, then head in, since that should be the most efficient, or, well, not efficient, this isn't about efficiency. Huge alien cyber presence been checked in the northeast of Neo City, attack it aggressively. Attention, attention, attention. Okay, I just want to see how the waves go, see how effective it would be. Which is pretty effective, yep. The Colonel is very strong. Metal Claw, very strong. 
And big fuzzy fist, very strong. Well, time to meet your maker. Oh man, this would be... Well, big fuzzy fisting, big fuzz. Yeah, now that's a title for a video. Hoo-ah. I don't need to move. Moving's for other people. Wow, it fires so slowly. This is going to take forever and a day. Okay, what else is going on in the world? Uh, let's see. All right, I should time this. Something. All right. Hey, free passive. Oh, wait, that's frozen. Everything gets frozen, huh? Uh, let's see. How's the kill count look compared to some of the others? I don't think it's as much as Sheena, but Sheena also didn't have to deal with all that curse going up. So Bahamut would have been better overall. The only other character that might compare is probably Brownie, because he gets more damage. Brownie would have taken and no one else should compare to that. Colonel might have taken that out if I hadn't grabbed the Coronas box curse. So I wanted to show off that he could do this. He totally could have. Stanley? Stanley was screwed. Newt? Newt was screwed. Sheena? Sheena? Well, Sheena got through it, no trouble. Yeah, Barney was on paper. It was a uh, Probotector, yeah, that's another good weapon. Let's see what he ended up with. Probotector actually had more than Sheena. He had almost 50,000. He had a 49,000. That's a surprise. And how did Coordinate compare? Newt, Newt, Newt. What the fuck? Okay, what happened here? Okay, that was weird. Checking the new video on YouTube. I haven't posted it yet. Anyway, there's Bahamut done on Neo Galaga. I knew he wouldn't have much trouble, and he definitely showed off that he didn't. Probably overall the strongest character in the DLC because of this, though the others could make up for it in their own way. Death, death can't stop the Colonel. Only the alien cell itself. Alrighty, 232 million on the big fuzzy fists. 14,616, mostly because the curse ran up with Tron's box, otherwise he would have had a much better score. But that's him down on one. Time to head over to Mad Force. Alright, time for the second time of Colonel Bahamut, Vampire Survivors. He will be redeeming Newt's failure by heading over to Mad Forest, and also I bothered to read his thing, so. We will be getting the ever-incredible Arcana, eventually, of Wicked Season. Yeah, because he gets bonus damage, might, from Greed and Curse. So we gotta shoot that up as soon as possible. Alrighty. Make it bigger, make it stronger, make it harder, make it faster. Hmm. Can Armadillo one of these? 
Well, let's see what it goes. Okay, yep, that was a flat one. Da -da -da. Well, I won't need that much might, right? Okay, I got three more slots. What do I actually want for them? Uh, there are options. There are many options to take. Many good options, many bad options. Corona's box is obviously going to be one of them. Hollow Heart is on the map, so I don't need to grab it here. Armor does make some sense. Crown, level up as soon as possible. Not getting Boogaloo, because, well, I didn't select it. Yeah, look at that damage. Almost up to 300 already. Ooh, ooh, it's Curse Wave. Yep, yeah, gonna need some empty tomb to make sure this goes as fast as possible. Oh, should not have tried to grab that. Wait, I can outrun it though. There we go. You are on the map, Skullomaniac. Ooh, duplicator. One more claw. Endless claw. Yeah, heck, just getting one duplicator basically makes the claw endless. That's very helpful. Alright, Tronus box and empty tome I go, and then get everything else on the map. Which means I should be breaking for Skullomaniac right away. Alright, that wave, no trouble. Da da da, it's the mask, get that greed up. Colonel is very greedy, it seems. Yeah, 571 might, because I actually bothered to read a description. I don't know if I would have actually grabbed the mask in Neo Galaga. I mean, I guess it would be better than spinach, but... What else would I have tabbed out with? I don't know. Now the heart is on the map. Boy, this is a lot of re-rolls. Game. Okay, that was so many. So, so many. And there's Thorne's box. Now I can grab the dang Skull Maniac right off the bat. Now, Klee Alright, I have 583 might. I have 587 might. I have 597, so it's one to one. Every point of curse is a point of damage. Every point of greed is a point of damage. Which means Wicked Season is incredible for him to a degree. That is absolutely crazy. Everything is good. Everything is awesome. Yep, just tearing through the night. Nothing can stop this guy. Yeah. So, probably not as ridiculously strong as, say, well, a character that's literally invincible in Megalomania, or Scientist Mina's ability to scale completely out of control, and, well, Sammy existing at all. But he's definitely the strongest character here, by far. The damage is nuts, the survivability is great, the weapon is strong. No matter what you're going to do, you're going to have a good time. And you can go high curse like mad. Oh, what was that? I'm actually picking up curse. Yep, they can't touch me. So, amazing. Amazing. Obviously, if you get Boogaloo instead of Silent Old Century at the start, it could scale better. Or on a stage. Uh, one of the ones that has an Arcana on the map base. Probably Polis Replica because its enemies are the weakest overall. Our Fist Postcard is good as well. Oh, wait, I should have grabbed all those gems first. Look up, just getting trounced. Alright, get the left one first, because I want help. 
I didn't need Hollow Heart. I can't evolve it. I banished that thing. And might. And might. No, this wants area first. I'm out. I don't need air damage. I don't need damage yet. 500 damage of hit. Crazy. Still, it's a risky business. Just enough area to compensate in the end. And their damage doesn't go up, even with this much curse. I see you there, Stalker. You aren't getting the Colonel. Wait, why is it only doing 300 now? That's peculiar. I don't know, I can diagonal run away from Stalker. Yeah. Why is the damage inconsistent? Don't, don't, why am I doing that? Oh, right, it's affected by curse, so it's faster. Lousy stalker. Oh, there's our, my old golden egg. Oh, the grenade blows up stalker, that's excellent. I guess that's the one defensive tool that little Samunda will have. He's gonna have trouble. Probably gonna go greatest Jubilee with on him, because you know it's sort of his thing. Getting items. Oh. Light source wave, nice. Get some health back. Do have another revive. Now, what would I get with my armadillo? I've run a damage with a ton. Ooh, a big bat wave. Why does, why does this have speed? There's no possible benefit it could get from speed. Why does the damage keep flipping like that? Doesn't make sense. Like, you don't get a curse boost or a luck boost on the stat screen. Maybe I should just go right up. No, it'll get speed power ups then. Least the last thing I need. Oh, get the Aura Logan in. Wash for that. Taglio left. My weakness is the up and down clear. It does still have the ability to hit there. It's just not all that efficient. Something I should have done a while ago. Oh, NFT save. Nice. Just bring him a burn. Loop the burn. Now we start getting the heavier waves, the more dangerous ones. Alright, they aren't getting in. That's excellent. Alright, try and avoid moving. Well, that's kind of difficult. Okay, see if I can try and find the right gem or kind of chest. And I think it's a bit too late for Boogaloo, so I'll get a wig. Just because I'm about to... Well, I'm a low on health. I don't know if I'm going to die, but I'll grab it. Why am I going that way? Red gem. I was looking for the red gem, that's why. Dang it. Wait, what? What hit me? Did I run into the Atlantean on accident? Yes, maybe. Ooh. Yep, you went down in no time. I'll s wait till I curse up and then grab these power ups. Then just chew through them with it. Well, I don't really need it. But hey, it was there. Yep, there's my big red gem. Yeah. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, twenty ten, twenty eleven, twenty twelve, twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, twenty nine
29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, jeez, 41, 32, 43, 44, all the way up to 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and we have hit 50 levels in a single bound. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 58, 59, 60. 60 levels from that one red gem. My damage is gonna go very high. Oh, there was another level up storm. Not as big as one, but it happened. Alright, and luck affects power ups, so let's spawn some more luck. Yep, 270 curse. It's only gonna get higher from here. Get my damn, just another stalker, really. Oh boy, I am so glad I grabbed Tear to the Awake. Because there's no way I would survive this otherwise. Might not survive this anyway. Well, his damage doesn't seem to scale with curse, at least. No, damage never scales with curse. Get a grenade, get a rosary, get anything. I can just barely, barely outrun it, and I leave that clover behind. Oh, dang it. Got trapped on the flowers. Grenade. Ha, take that, you stalker. Alright, hold out. Hold out better than I am. Oh, I should hold out for luck before I grab chests. Better chance to get fuel. What I need. Go. There we go. Yep. Like I planned. Like the genius I am. Oh, I completely forgot about the stopwatch for Big Bo. Okay. Armadillo, Armadillo, Armadillo. Well, I'm rolling spinach around the map. I don't need wings or a tract orb. I don't want to. Tracked Warp, Bracer is worthless, Spellbinder is worthless, so I'm in luck mode, so I don't want to grab that. Over there. Boy, the lack of lower damage is health. These, no, well, that was timed poorly. Da, da, da. Might actually cap out area eventually. What does speed even do? Doesn't make any sense. Why does it have speed? I know in the Discord someone was talking about it not make getting speed and not, not making sense. Rapid fire is the name of the power if I actually thought I'd to look it up. Why aren't you going down? Oh, Hey, that's not good. I mean, this is fine. It's just when they double up. I mean, I've got 691... 691 might. That's lower than it should be. Much lower. Uh-oh. In fact, it's astronomically lower, isn't it? Huh, that's not good. Oh, wait, I could grab that ore loading and then move. Well, as long as I'm moving, it's mostly fine. Uh, boy, I can't take many more waves of that. There you are, ore loading. Well, I have so much luck, though, that plenty of chickens are gonna spawn in. Oh, crab battle. Why am I trying to do 
experience things instead of home rushing for Pomerola. I guess I'll get. Home. What other Arcana would I even want? Mount isn't going to do anything at this stage. I guess it's our bond day of healing, just uh, for the better safety net. Hmm. I don't feel like that damage is scaling like it should. It is this 982 might? I did go up so high all of a sudden. Yes, it's a thousand might. It's only doing 600 ish damage. That doesn't feel right at all. Okay, better. Maxing it out. Still don't have an area max. That's uh, interesting. I put so many levels in the area. So many. Amount should clearly be maxed out by now, though, at least. So there's that. I guess you just focus on might again. I Maybe mean, gaining a lot of damage up front. Yep, boss mummy. Oh, even in this, they're not going down that quickly. I got too much curse. Uh oh. Still got quite a ways to go. Right, well, time to just spam out as much might as possible. Uh oh, stuck on stuff. Well, the mummies are one of the most durable waves. It's still not the most durable. Well, I will not be grabbing the rest of the curse. It's too risky at this point. Oh, where are you, Aurelo? I mean, 50 might really won't change anything when I have this much, but still. There we go. Oh man, Divine Bloodline with this uh, would be absolutely incredible one in it. You'd scale so much, so much out of bounds. Out of sense. And then what else would you get? Yeah, that's double permanent scaling might. So that's helpful. Then you get plenty of it on the map. Arcana chest, Arcana chest. Well, it's not like 100 white's gonna switch that much of a difference at this point. Reroll. I mean, Disco of Gold, I do have Greed. Probably better. Well, and that makes me bold enough to want to actually go grab Yule Golden Ring. I mean, with him being so fast, it shouldn't be much to get through. Coins help with healing, and I do have greed. I have a ton of greed, so they heal a lot. Strangely, no bags have spawned in. That's peculiar. 20 health from a coin. Just a regular old coin. Oh, I'm on greed season, so... Boy, they're getting in fast. Poor Logan. Oh, there was a psycho power-ups there. Strangely, I have yet to get a single bag. There we go. Oh, this is not going as well as I thought it would. Oh, duh. It's because I don't have Serapande. Duh. Because I don't have Serapande, I can't do the Endless Pulse. Well, granted, not that 20 damage is going to do all that much at this point. But it gets me a bunch of health, so... Da -da -da. Oh, grenade does not clear it out. Oh, it did. Huh. Oh, gotta go back to the way of the power-up. Oh, another grenade. Ooh, gotta take that out real quick. What's that? Oh no. I mean, it's gotta be the controller doing it. But it's weird, because it's still affecting me when I hit down. Hmm. Oh, 
plant him first. That's the biggest threat here. You dead yet? You dead yet? You dead yet? Oh, come on. Alright, let's see. Colonel dominates. Da -da -da. Still not going to actually hit 100k. Easily could if I wasn't on hurry, but, well. I need to beat this sometime before the end of the world. Alright, over on to something. Wait. No, wait. Was it Boy Meets World? I know Shia. No, wait. No, no, no. Boy Meets World and even Stevens were two different things. Well, Disney shows. I think. But they were two different things. Which was funny because I was about to say, well, then both Boy Meets World Brothers ended up in Transformers shows. Weird, huh? But no. So that was just a weird coincidence. Instead of a weird or coincidence. It's always funny learning that he was the voice of Terry McGinnis as well. Oh, I should just random always at this point. It's 28 minutes in. This one's gonna be long enough as it is. And dominating enough as it is. Still fell a lot though. Jeez. I don't think Boogaloo would have done much more. Area. Oh, well, I'm actually not getting hit, so it actually would have helped. Oh, well, I will go punch in the Atlantean one here. Let's see if you can accomplish anything. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is my last ride. Well, that was really dicey at the end because I was really dumb. There's no way it's going to last long enough to get back, right? There we go, geez. Ah, that was a skin of the teeth win, mostly by stupidity. But, yeah. Look at that damage number. Absolutely incredible. Big Fuzzy Fist probably would have done more if I had remembered actually if I'd actually built for it correctly. But otherwise, the Colonel is very strong. Metal Claw is very strong. Easily the best of the base weapons. And the evolution is no slouch either. It's just competing with a lot of top tier things overall. Well, next up's gonna be old Simondo. God help us all. And with significantly more ease than poor Newt Pliskin, Colonel Bahamut has trounced both Neo Galaga Inverse and Mad Forest. With a ton of curse along the way, eh? Knew he would be strong and he more than delivered. So, that's down to 271 stage characters bait and 1,661 more to go. Oh boy, that's so very many. Thank you for watching the Vampire Survivors Beswick. I hope you had some fun. I'd appreciate any likes, dislikes, comments, or subscriptions you'd like to give. And thank you anyone who has done it in the past. I hope you have a good day and keep messing around in Vampire Survivors.